I long, as does every human being, to be at home wherever I find myself. Maya Angelou. This is the story of the sacrifices my parents made. This is the story of my two homes. My father's name is Shoket Samara. He came from a small village called Dramtha, located in the country of Jordan. He was a small town man with big dreams. He owned a tailor shop in the city of Zeta with his younger brother Omar. He was doing what he loved with the people he loved, but he saw no room for growth or opportunity due to the declining economy. If he could not find opportunity where he was, then he would go look for it. He talked to a friend who gave him the push he needed. You're still young and single. Nothing is holding you here. Why not take the risk? He said. Those were the words that kept my father up that night. And the next morning, he went to get a visa. He got it automatically, and that was it. He was ready. He sold his tailor shop and moved to New York in the year 1977. After exploring the city, he went to Chicago and worked for a leather company where he made coats. He was excited to be exploring the unknown, but he still missed home. He heard his cousin was in Michigan and decided to go see him. He was excited to see a familiar face and it did not take much convincing for him to stay in Michigan. Michigan was already starting to feel like a place he could call home. Shortly after his move to Michigan, he found a job at a company in Lansing called Robert David Allen, where he became the head tailor. Things were slowly progressing for my father and the opportunities he was searching for were slowly being unveiled. My father hit a milestone when he finally bought his own house in America. This is the American dream he was hoping to build and he was slowly building it for himself. Him and his cousin decided to go back to Jordan for a visit that summer. And that's the summer he met my mother, Nisreen Shota. My mother worked in the admissions office at Yermuk University in the city of Irbid, which was the same university my father's cousin had worked at. He introduced them and shortly after they decided to get married in the year 1992. My parents both came to America and my father soon opened his own tailor shop that my mother helped him with. In 1993, I was born and in 1995, my younger brother was born. My parents built a life for my brother and I through their own sacrifices and risks. They did not leave their homes to find a new home. No, no. They wrapped up their hometowns and old street names and memories and carried it on their backs all the way to America. There were times where their journey to America was difficult and the weight of their homes made their shoulders and backs ache. But they still carried it all the way to America for us to taste. They let their Arabic language swim in their mouths until we were there to watch it spill and catch each and every single drop. They gave us a home that existed in more than one geographical location. We experienced American culture and traditions to the fullest, seeing every Santa Claus every mall had to offer, and trying on every costume imaginable for Halloween. On that same note, my parents still unpacked little pieces of home off of their backs for us to see. Little things like my parents' cute Aladdin anniversary cake. I think that was the only Disney movie we bought and not just rented and like enjoying the traditional dish of Jordan, Mensef. They let us explore their belongings until they eventually became our own. My parents have done so much for us. They've struggled endlessly to prevent us from struggling. They sought diversity, education, and opportunity so that we would live enriched lives. They taught me how to swim until I knew how to swim on my own. This is the story of my two homes.